Again, I want to thank the Society of Plastic Surgical Nurses for the opportunity and really the honor to be here with you today. And what uh, I'd like to do is to share with you an experience of a clinical study that we have conducted trying to evaluate the material, the fabric, which liposuction garments are made, and what represents that particular interest to us, the surgeons, to you, the nurses, and to the patients in general. So it's a clinical study trying to understand two types of uh, fabrics, one that is called comfort weave and the other one power net, and what is the importance? I mean, is there a difference between them and how is that going to affect the patient compliance and our clinical results? I'd like to just tell you briefly about myself. I'm the medical director of perhaps one of the uh, largest aesthetic surgery group practice in Houston. And I'm also very interested in research. I hold a faculty appointment at the University of Texas uh, Medical School in Houston. So I have residents and fellows, not only from the three medical schools in Houston, but from several programs in Central South America and Europe. And they want and, and spend some time with us trying to see what's the latest in aesthetic plastic surgery. And these are my partners. Again, there are seven of us. And uh, each one has an individual interest. Uh, the one on the far left, Dr. Mintz, has a particular interest in uh, face, and he's a triple boarded ENT plastic surgery and facial plastic surgeons. These three are the ones that started the group. This is Dr. Patronella, who has a big interest in body contouring and added procedures performed in one single stage. And this is Dr. Newell, who perhaps is the busiest uh, liposuction and abdominoplasty surgeon in, in Houston. I'm about to finish a study with him in which over the past two and a half years we've completed 2,000 procedures. And uh, it will be presented our study hopefully next year at this uh, meeting. We have a, our own uh, surgery center. Uh, we have about 59 full-time employees. So we are set to conduct aesthetic surgery in a very well-organized fashion and hopefully we'd like to continue setting up the standards of care, comprehensive care in the city of Houston. <clears throat> Since I'm going to be talking about liposuction, it's very important that I disclose to you that myself or any of the authors, we have no financial interest with the, any manufacturing company uh, or any of the manufacturers of post-operative liposuction garments. The Marena Group was able to donate 50 garments so that we can conduct the present study. <clears throat> 